This is what's going on right now, y'all. This is crazy. This was not predicted. <laughs> I mean, it was last night, late last night. The reports came out that there was supposed to be flooding, hail, bad thunderstorms. Uh, when I had checked yesterday before I planted, um, those numbers were minimal, but they have changed now. So just check this out. Look at all this flooding out here. This is never flooded like this ever since we've been here. Now the good news is this is not being planted anytime soon and everything we planted yesterday is looking pretty good. So this area, the potatoes are flooding just because they are like deeper in the ground here where we made this trench. It shouldn't be a problem. Thankfully, everything else is up. However, the plants that we did not cover are looking a little puny. We tried to cover some plants this morning in case it hailed. Uh, we'll see if they'll pull through. So we came out here early this morning and covered everything we could possibly cover with anything we could find in our garage, which it amazes me that we even have all of this in our garage. So we tried to get everything we could cover that might be affected by hail if it's to come. Um, we have about another hour and a half, two hours of this possibly, so we'll see. Um, if it hails, I will lose some plants, but at least we've saved these, so I'm grateful for that. Uh, but I'm just really, this was not planned, but it's amazing that this side of the garden is that much higher and I'm really hoping it holds out. So this is high enough and I'm hoping that most of the water will continue to drain down here. But if this continues much longer, it might start working into this garden. And I've got peas planted over here, so they're being flooded right now. Um, the only thing I can say is they're either gonna wash away um, or they won't, and we'll just have to come back and cover them. But this is completely underwater. Hopefully this will stay above water. We'll see what the day holds. Well, the rain has finally subsided. Uh, I pretty much just had to ignore it to make sure that I wasn't getting uh, <laughs> too upset about what might be happening outside in the garden. But I'm coming outside to survey the damage and I really don't think there's any. The only thing I'm curious about is my peas and if they got washed away over on this left side of the garden over here where it was completely flooded this morning. So as you can see now, all of this that was flooded this morning has now gone down which is crazy because this was practically all underwater this thankfully survived i just need to check the plants and see how they held up under the the heavy rains because they are just baby plants that have been you know tucked up nicely in my house so i'm coming in this west garden and i'm just curious to see it actually doesn't look like anything was washed away which i am really surprised by. I did put a heavy mulch on top of those peas um, and so that may be what held them in place with that water but from what I can tell just looking here I think we survived. <laughs> so this is where I planted the peas a couple of days ago and I mean just like I said just taking a quick glance it's not I'm not seeing anything washed out which I'm really surprised by. I really expected all of this to be kind of washed out. Um, but it's looking intact. And this is definitely where I had this heavier wood chip mulch. So this may have just held, which is, you know, it's a great testament to the kind of mulch that you use. If this held all those peas in place. I, I see one pea. Here we go. One, two peas right here that are above the ground that's it so i'm just going to push that little guy try not to disrupt his sprout i'm just going to push him in there and cover him up and we'll do the same with this one over here see it's sprouted as well so we'll push it in the ground i'll try not to hurt its sprout cover that up oh here's another one <laughs> so i'm seeing a few these actually were probably the ones that i threw in the ground real quick the other day when it was raining like crazy and i was trying to get them in the ground so three peas out of probably 300 peas that I planted. I, I planted a lot. I over planted and I did that on purpose. <laughs> Let's check out the other side of the garden. So I really, really, really want to uncover all of this. Isn't this amazing? I can't believe all this was in my garage. <laughs> and my kids are out here helping me get this covered. I really want to uncover this, but we're supposed to have gale winds here in the next 
hour or two, which right now it's super calm. Um, so it's really tempting to take these off. But looking at the plants that didn't get covered, they're a little beat down. Like this so these guy. are a little, looking a little sad, but honestly, other than a couple that I can tell my kids stepped on this morning, like this stem is broken, um, which is not gonna affect the health of this plant. This one's a little sad, but I think it's fine. All the ones, all of them that I've looked at, for the most part, look really good. There's a couple branches that are broken off. Um, I honestly think that's from planting. These all look fine. So, you know, this one's a little beat down, but I, it's gonna be fine. It's, it's still like new growth in here that could happen down in here. I really think for the most part, other than the plants that were stepped on by my kids <laughs> this morning when we were covering things, that we've survived the storm. And again, I really, really, really wanna take off these tops, but I'm just gonna hold out, which I'm not very good at. I'm gonna hold out um, and see if there's crazy strong winds actually happen. But yay for surviving the storm. Oh my gosh, when I heard that there was gonna be hail and high winds, I just, <laughs> you know that feeling if you've done this before. I've, I've had to cover plants like this, I think almost every year except for last year, because of some fluke thing with the weather. And you know, we worked so hard to get all of this stuff out the last three days to lose it to a storm would have just been heartbreaking, especially for my kids who worked so hard. So I think we survived this storm. Hopefully we won't have to anymore. The rest of the week is supposed to be really sunny and nice. So we'll be able to get the rest of our seeds in. Um, and that's really the goal. We're gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna get the seeds in. We're gonna get our pathways covered with wood chips and hopefully some of these garden beds covered with straw. So that's the goal for the rest of the week. We'll be starting again tomorrow. Um, but today, just an update that we survived the storm. I know there's a lot of people out there that haven't. I have some extended family in Arkansas that lost their home. Their whole town was basically blown over by a tornado. So I know there are others that haven't and my heart's go out to you all. Sincerely, I used to live in the tornado belt. So I know the devastation that can happen. Um, but we are thankful. <laughs> we are very thankful that we made it through this one. So we'll see you in the next video where we'll be planting the rest of our spring garden. Thanks for watching.